Hey, I'm Logan, the creator of Copilot for Obsidian. We've just dropped the most massive update yet for this plugin. For those who have been waiting, thanks for your patience. For those who are new here, I'm an engineer building AI tools for the mind. Please consider trying Obsidian with the Copilot plugin for your personal knowledge management. It's completely free. Starting from version 2.5.0, we now have a new Vault QA mode. Huge shout out to Antoine for working with me on this big feature. With this new mode, you can chat with your entire Obsidian Vault. You have the option to use online embedding providers such as OpenAI and Cohere, or you can use Olama to have both chat and embedding completely local on your machine. This release is one big step toward my vision of this plugin, a local first, private, and free AI assistant in Obsidian. It is still in beta and may have some quirks here and there. If you find issues, feel free to report on the GitHub page. In this video, I will walk through the setup, explain how it works, and demo the features. Oh, by the way, Claude 3 was just announced and I slipped it in this release too. I will briefly talk about it later in the video. Let's not waste any time and dive right in. I'm going to pretend that I'm a new user by resetting to default settings and clearing out all my API keys to start from scratch. So the first thing is to put in my OpenAI API key because I'm going to test the OpenAI embedding model. Note that you have to set up your embedding model correctly to use QA. Later, I'm going to show you how to use a local embedding model without OpenAI. I'm also putting in my Anthropic API key because I'm going to test Claw 3 later. The default Claw 3 model is the Sonnet model, and I'm testing it for free. So now I have the text embedding 3 small from OpenAI as my embedding model under QA settings. The new QA mode need to index your vault first before you can start asking questions. So please take a look at the QA settings. There are two things you need to pick. One is the embedding model. The other is the auto index strategy. Never here means that the nodes never get indexed to the vector store unless you run the command index vault for QA or hit the button to index them explicitly. The on startup mode refreshes your index on plugin load or reload, and the on mode switch mode will refresh your index when you switch to the vault QA mode. This is my favorite strategy, so I've recommended here. And here's the max sources setting. What it means is the max number of source document you want from retrieval. If you set a large number, you run the risk of retrieving irrelevant notes. It will have a negative impact on your answer quality. The default is three for now. There are several ways you can trigger indexing. First option is by setting an auto index strategy that is not never. The second option is by triggering manually with the copilot command index refresh vault for QA. Third is by clicking the button refresh index next to the mode selection dropdown. There's an additional copilot command called force reindex vault for QA. It means to recreate the index from scratch, whereas option one, two, three only update the index on nodes that have been modified. Here's a tip for you to get an idea how much indexing will cost you if you use a paid provider. Use the new command, count total tokens of vault, and then find the price of your selected embedding model. For example, the text embedding three small model costs only two cents for one million tokens. This is my main vault, and it has 923,000 tokens. It has 4,784 files to be indexed. This is the actual speed. It took around under five minutes to index this whole vault. Sometimes the indexing can get stuck. Uh, it could be because you are rate limited by OpenAI or there's some other network issue. You just refresh it and do it again. From my experience, um, it's pretty rare to get stuck. This whole vault cost me under two cents. So that's basically nothing. So now let me show you how to set up local embeddings with Olama. 
you just do olama pool namic embed text in your terminal. Don't forget to turn off the olama app first before running the server. Now we are ready to start the olama server for Obsidian to call. This same server serves both the chat model and the embedding model. Okay, time for the demo. I'm going to first test the small embedding model from OpenAI. This is my test vault. It's quite small for demonstration purposes. You see it's just 58,000 tokens. There's only 32 files, so indexing is a breeze. As soon as you finish indexing, the bot shows some instructions. It mentions the name of the vault and it reminds you to run refresh index if you have never as your auto index strategy. Here are some test questions I have. This is a fake person's life story I have in my vault, just to test if the bot can retrieve it. Since it's made up, there's no way the model already knows about it, so it has to retrieve from my vault. The source notes are nested in these folders. It successfully retrieved the docs and listed them in the sources section. And the answer is quite accurate. He's a prominent Chinese writer born in Beijing in 1949, despite contracting polio at age of six, pursued his passion for literature. He passed away in 2010. These are all correct. And these facts, they are scattered in different notes. The bot is able to combine them in one single answer. Notice that it listed this untitled note in the sources too, because it literally has my question, who is Mike Shen? The next question, what the heck does super linear return mean? This is a Paul Graham essay in my vault. This is a very, very good answer. And I didn't retrieve other irrelevant notes. It listed exactly the target note, super linear returns. It did a great job. This question is for some other Paul Graham essays. This time it shouldn't only return one target node because there are multiple notes about this topic. There are two source notes, how to make wealth and how people get rich now. Both are relevant. Good job for that. This next question is a tricky one. What's the best thing to do in Seattle in winter? It answers is to stay indoors, take vitamin D supplements, enjoy a cup of coffee and watch the rain outside. This is correct. I embedded this answer in two different notes. It's in this note called Hey Yo, you see here? And I also embedded in the long essay, How to Make Wealth, to serve as a needle in the haystack test. Again, this untitled note has the literal question, so it's returned as well. It successfully retrieved everything. OpenAI embedding small is a pretty strong model for this test. The last question, based on the model comparison demo, which model did the best? This is from a note for one of my previous video where I compared all these models. It answers correctly that GPT-4 Turbo has the best force because it has the most green checks. I really like its reasoning. Okay, now as promised, let's test out the completely offline option with Olama. First, let me switch the embedding model to Olama Namic Embed Text. Save and reload. Pick Olama Local from the chat model selection and switch to Vault QA. For our local server, the indexing is actually quite fast. Let's go through the same questions again. Who is Mike Shen? The server is responding. It just runs a little slower than OpenAI. Success. Oh, actually, we can immediately see the problem. It's answering the other questions too, which it shouldn't. It's because it retrieved this untitled note and it got confused about what question the user asked. This is a problem with smaller chat models. Oh, uh, I forgot to switch from the default Llama 2 7B model to Mistral 7B. Let me switch it now and turn off the Wi-Fi. Let's try again. What the heck does super leader return mean? The answer is okay. And the source retrieved is correct, but you see it's not as good as OpenAI. How do people get rich now? That's great. This is pretty good. It successfully retrieved the two relevant notes. And let's try the tricky question. What's the best thing to do in Seattle in winter? Oh, you see, it's answering irrelevant things, mainly because of the limited capability of understanding from the chat model, not because of the wrong retrieval. The retrieval is actually right. 
Let's try the last one. Based on the model comparison demo, which model did the best? Okay, this one also failed. It didn't even retrieve that correct note. The Vault QA retrieval will get better over time. But in case you're only interested in one note, then you can still fall back to the long note QA mode. For demonstration purposes, let me switch to that as a fallback. Why is it answering the money is not wealth question? It's because I have this question listed in this note at the bottom, you see. As for the answer to the actual question, it couldn't identify that the GPT-4 Turbo model was the best one. My guess is that it couldn't understand the emojis, uh, checks and crosses. To summarize, from these tests, the OpenAI embedding models are still better than the Olama Nomic embedding, but the local embedding model performed quite well too except for the last question where it failed to retrieve the model comparison note. In many cases, the reason behind the low quality answer is not retrieval, but a lack of understanding from the smaller local chat model. It often confuses the context with the user question. Of course, these are the 7B models. If you can run a model that's at least 13B, it will improve significantly. So how do you pick a better embedding model? If you have a large, complex, and multilingual vault, OpenAI Text Embed Large is still the best choice. I believe that the NAMIC embedding model is English only. Here in my main vault, I have used the OpenAI Large embedding model to index the whole thing. And this is a pretty good answer to a pretty loaded question. It was able to retrieve the two relevant notes from around 5,000 notes, which is pretty impressive. The answer quality is stellar. It exceeded my expectation. If you are willing to go deep, um, go check the benchmark for embedding models on the um, MTEB leaderboard. Find the top performing one and find an API provider that has it. Use that API in Copilot advanced settings to override the existing choices. But make sure that the embedding provider has the same format as OpenAI embedding API, or it won't work. If your bot QA fails to retrieve every time, the first thing to try is to clear your vector store and force rebuild the index from scratch. If it still doesn't work, you can turn on debug mode, take a screenshot, and open an issue on the GitHub page with a detailed description how you got there. This video is getting too long, so I'm not going to test Cloth3 in detail right now. The TLDR is that they have three new models. The big one is Opus middle one is Sonnet, and a small and fast one called Haiku. They all have 200k context window and have native support for both text and vision. And they're all multilingual. I haven't tried Opus yet, but people are saying it's beating GPT-4 in real world use cases. That's really exciting. So far, Sonnet has been really good. Take a look at this example. I make it summarize five program assets in one go, and it did a pretty good job. Haiku's API isn't available yet as of today, but I'm really excited about it because it's super cheap for what it could do. That's it for today. I'm Logan, an engineer and creator building AI augmentation for the mind. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.